All right, we're ready. Sure we are. Close enough. All right. Welcome back. We're here with uh, another episode of the Crawl USA podcast. Yeah. Today, let's talk about wenches. Not the 1700 kind. Oh. All right. All right, so... Yeah, let's just start with the obvious. Uh, what was your first wench? Her name was... And what was her brand name? Her name was Warren. Warren, was it really? Yeah. You didn't have a Badlands? No. What's that thing downstairs on the cart? Oh, that came on a... That was in a, a toolbox I bought. It's like a... An ATV. I don't even know if the thing works. The guy said it did, but it was bolted to the side of the toolbox for some reason, and it's too hard for him to get off, so it just came with the deal. I mean, I guess it's good. The toolbox that's on the trailer now, it came with that toolbox. I didn't even know. All right. All right, so you started off with the Warren. That's good. That's better than where I thought it was just going to go. Do brands matter? Depends on who you ask. Some people are going to get real uh, uptight if you start talking about um, some brands. But, you know, you see a lot of, you, you see Smitty Bilts out there, you see Warrens, you see a lot of Badlands, a Rough Country, right? Who else? Is there one, I think, Super Winch? Uh, the yellow one, I think. All right. Oh, that so, yellow one from Australia? No, not the big one. Not the, those are cool. 20,000, 50,000 pound ones. Oh. All right, so no one's paying you. Are you still going with warm? Yeah. Right? Like, So, yeah, I mean, I, I had a problem with it. I bought a new control box, put it on. It's working. Now it looks really weird because it's off to the side, which I, I, I like it. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, st- I'll stick with it working well man i guess i don't want to bash all these brands but uh, i think out in the the real world we've seen some issues with some other ba- uh, the other brands i mean i guess we have with the warren too sure but yeah i think we've do. seen less of them with the warren I, I mean i guess you know depending i mean well yeah maybe there are a lot more of them out there i would say they're the dominant brand so you would think uh you'd see more issues just because of the numbers if, if they were Warren. all all equal yeah right and, and you don't yeah i don't think we see too many issues other than right your your control box was kind of weird going out right probably you know part of the electronics went out and it's a solenoid or whatever that thing is um, but other than that no real issue with them that I can think. Can you think of anybody that had an issue with a Warren? Other than doing dumb things like running over your controller or over overworking it. I've, I've definitely seen non-working Warren winches, right? Because we've run into that. You, you know, when we're leading trails and there's a problem and you go back and it's like, okay, we're going to winch. And the guy says, my winch doesn't work. Yeah, we never looked into it. I wonder how much of that is uh, maintenance, not connecting it correctly, not connecting it, or not over, having a good line. Overworking it and burning it up, you know, I mean, yeah, who knows? Yeah, all right. Well, um, all right, let's move to the next one. I mean, obviously, not, I'm not that... Uh, wed to a, a winch brand right so let's start cable or synthetic rope yeah that'll really get people hot under the collar good i i would like to know uh for what we do what's a good reason for a cable tried and true right if it's in good shape it's it's not gonna it's not gonna break on you Have we seen anyone break a cable? I have not. I mean, obviously it happens. 
I haven't witnessed it firsthand. Okay. I ran cable. Yeah. You know, and a lot of the old school dudes still do it. Is it really the safety factors? Yes, there's a safety factor in, in everything, right, when you're witching. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of a, it's kind of understood. It's been proven, right? But if you're doing things correctly, right, just the safety factor goes way up. If you're cowboying it and people are standing around and you're, pull in with a steel cable and you don't have a damper on it, you know, like, sure. No, I think, I think that's just part of it though. And I think for that reason, I would say synthetic, right? Because for safety, yeah. Yeah. And, safety. and, and it's strong, you know, I mean, I, it's hard to make an argument against it. If you take care of it. When I was a kid, I had a three uh, chain snap uh, and, and it hit me. The last link hit me in the jaw, and I had to get stitches. But you know, you can imagine if it had been—I mean, I was six or seven. If it had been three or four links of that chain, hit me in the jaw, and not just the end. I had a bruise. It knocked me back about ten feet. But you know, a few more links, it might have shattered my jaw. Another foot, it might have wrapped around my neck, you know. So, yeah. It's, right. So, it's dangerous. The safety factor is probably worth the transition to synthetic. Um, the price is significantly more on synthetic, I believe. I don't know. I haven't bought a cable, you know, not, to be. Not the ropes I bought. All right. So, let's. Oh, boy. Let's get into that, right? So, you obviously have a new synthetic rope right here. Had a coupon. So this is 80 feet, right? 80 feet, 3 8 inch rope. Yep. Uh, it does say it's 20% stronger, 80% lighter, and has a 12,000 pound max winch rating. And I have a 10,000 pound winch. We're golden. And, you know, this bad boy retails for yeah what did you pay for this with your coupon with my coupon yeah 99 dollars. and it looks suspiciously just like my 70 dollar winch line off of amazon that i used for what two seasons three seasons and pulled that big ass four-door hunk of junk up more than one straight ass climb right? pulled you up shaft right hmm? pulled you up shaft yeah and what was broken drive shaft and axle shaft on shaft both drive shafts or just the front just the rear. the rear just the rear okay um but uh we did a trail that will remain unnamed and that had a probably a 16 18 foot vertical wall Right. And pulled up that. So, you know, I, I got a lot of grief for getting a $70 winch line. From me. Yeah. And uh, it, it held up. And so I'm not I'm not worried about this. I, I think the $400 winch line and the $90 winch line come out of the same factory. They are woven from the same sheep's wool, China, wherever they make them. Okay. Yeah. Synthetic sheep. Synthetic sheep. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I can't do it. I'm going to spend the money. Look, nobody ever got fired for buying cheap the, stuff. The best stuff. Oh. Right? We used to have a saying, you know, in, in IT when, when AMD chips were starting to challenge Intel, nobody ever got fired for buying Intel. Man, if your servers went down and you, the guy that said we should get the AMDs because they're cheaper, it might be a problem. So I'm hoping that I don't have to eat my my words here, but 
Yeah, I mean, I think for what we have invested in the Jeeps, I will spend a little bit more on my line there. That's but your prerogative. Yeah, we'll see. Certainly. I, yeah, I'll be eating shit if my brakes first. Well, you have a nice, that's a nice robe. Yeah, I have. It looks like super cool. I don't remember what it is, but it was expensive. Uh, all right. Next thing on winches, right? So we're both running a wired controller. Have you ever thought about putting the the toggle switch inside of your Jeep? The only time I've thought about that is every time I get my controller out. Okay. And have to hook it up because that's a hassle, you know. And and sometimes it's a little sketchy. Right. If you're stuck on something, you know, it's it's sketchy to have to fall out, have some dude, you know, climbing out there or you you risk falling out when you're, you know. So I think there's a safety factor there, too. And and if you do a good job on the wiring. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, Have you think about the suck down winch, too. Right. So. We're we're building the front of this thing, and I'll be able to use my winch as a suck down winch. You don't want to have to hook up a controller or leave it hooked up the whole time, so that you can use your suck down winch when you need to. Yeah, it's true. Where so, would you put it? I would probably put it on my console, my aluminum console. In the middle. Oh, in the middle. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, concerns about hitting. Yeah. Breaking it off. Using it when you're not ready, anything. Yeah, but really put it in a spot where you're not likely to mash it. You know, I don't accidentally mash my locker locker switches or anything else. You know, I was looking, you know, I've thought about it for mine too, um, but I think I would want it up on my dash somewhere, kind of under my steering wheel where I could do this. It's easy to reach. Well, that's what I found is that I've thought about that and then been in some positions where I'm vertical enough that, you know, getting all the way up to there yeah. is not possible. But right. with my controller, I can do everything like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I've thought about it, but I don't know that I have a good place for it. But it's easily accessible. Put mine right next to my cup holder. What could go wrong? true yeah so i we should probably do that then uh it is in the plan for this phase right uh, so there's some other type of controllers out there uh, the wireless controllers right they're pretty cool they're like a glow keychain yeah they're they're cool uh, those are real cool too if you want somebody outside the jeep to do the control why not inside? If it was just on your keychain that was hanging down and you just reach for your keys and went, sure. You know, everything's cool when it works. Yeah. So right. what's your trust factor in? I would, if I had a wireless control, I would keep my wired controller stashed, you know, just in case. Uh, I would I would like if anybody has one, comment on it. Tell us what you think on those because we've seen them used a lot. Have we? Yeah. I've seen them used a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I was paying attention. I was doing something else because I feel like I saw someone pull theirs out and then it didn't work and then we had to get a different controller mm-hmm. and plug in. Yeah. And luckily the Warrens pretty much plug into, I think almost... The standard. Yeah. Right, so somebody else's controller worked on this guy's winch. Yeah, and even on mine, mine's super old, but it's a new... I have a new controller for it. That was at... Uh, pretty sure that was at Chili Challenge last was it? year. Okay, so... That would be my biggest concern. And also, I would be, man, I'd just be scared. I'd just be scared it would send the signal and keep sending the signal and keep going either way. And when I'm really needing my winch in a climb or coming up over something, I'd hate to put all my eggs in that basket. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Well, I think if you have a plan B, I don't know. I'm, I imagine they have a battery in them. If you have a spare battery change your battery once in a while like maybe before you're season. going out on, on something yeah beginning of the season yeah 
I don't know. That's just something I'd, I'd be scared of. I don't know. Um, I think they even make them now where you can control it from your phone. That doesn't seem like a good idea. You know, because... Isn't it just Bluetooth? The touch... Like, that's... You know, it's too hard to slide around, hit the wrong thing. But, you know, with my controller, man, it's a bat wing top. Click, click. I mean, it's a three position. You can't go wrong. I mean, you can't accidentally turn it on, right? It's it's very deliberate. It has a little guard around that, you know? Um, yeah, I don't think I'll use my phone. Yeah, I... Seems... I'm too busy using my phone trying to make content for Instagram. <laughs> Capturing content. Instead of wheeling. Uh, I mean, we do that sometimes, so... Well, all right, so... You know, I never, I, I guess I don't really know, um, I, but I was looking at your Jeep and thinking about using it for the suck down. Uh, how do you get that big rubber thing on the end of it in and out to drop it up and down? I, I won't use that anymore. It'll just be free and it'll be the default position will probably be down, drop down through the, the bumper and, you know, shackled to the, to the axle. And then we'll pull it from the ramp. Yeah. Hmm? And then if uh, I run out of talent, then it's going to have to be strung back through and run out the front through the Haas, the fairly. Hmm. All right. So we'll see what happens. This is going to be interesting. And I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine until it's not. Right? Yeah, just like everything. Yeah, everything. So, man. All right. Well, anything else to add on winches? No. Leave us your uh, your opinions, your comments, your critique of my low budget new winch line. The other one's holding up great. It's just you know starting to. It's been used pretty hard and uh, you know stretched. And starting to get a little shaggy around the sides and so i'm going to replace it yeah i think look if you're listening to this as the first time looking at winches and things the key to these really is keeping them covered in the sun right if you park in the garage every day it's fine uh, but if you park your vehicle outside it's very important to keep those covered the sun is very rough on that synthetic line dries them out all kinds of crazy stuff so yeah and you can buy covers you can even have them custom made when i move my control box over to the side because it wasn't the right one for, for my winch. I didn't make any more or something. And, uh, I had to get a custom cover and even have one custom made and sewn out with the measurements. It's only like 30 bucks. Yeah, well worth it to protect your $90 line. Heck yeah. All right. All right, that's what we got for you guys. Thank you. Uh, let us know. Tell us about your Badland experience, and we'll go from there. Uh, or the others, the other brands we mentioned, or the ones we didn't. Let us know what you what your opinion is. Yeah, let us know if we know what we're talking about with winches. We don't. Pretty sure we don't, but we try. That's how it's about. All right, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Still got our sticker board up if you want to do that. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Who was it that said they'd bring us one to Chili Challenge? I can't remember. And I'm sorry we forgot. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. We'll oh, see you there. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we have some. We'll trade some with you. So, all right. We'll see you out on the trail. Adios.